वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन गिवन टू अर्स आर टू स्क्वेयर्स वे आर द साइड लेंथ ऑफ दिस ग्रीन स्क्वेयर इज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एक्साइटिंग पार्ट इज विद दिस गिवन डाटा वी हैव टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ दिस ब्लू रेक्टेंगल लेट चेक दिस सिंपल एंड एलिगेंट सोल्यूशन विल सॉल्व द सेम क्वेश्चन इन टू वेज अ फॉर्मल अप्रोच एंड अ लॉजिकल अप्रोच फॉर आर फॉर्मल अप्रोच लेट्स एक्सटेंड द साइड लेंथ ए डी हियर and from point f let's draw a line parallel to cd now these are your corresponding angles so angle g will be 90 degree now if you look at the triangle bae and triangle egf let's assume this angle is alpha and this angle is beta degrees so these are your complementary angles this angle here is angle of a square so it's 90 degree and thus this angle remaining angle is complementary of beta or alpha degrees and this will be again beta degrees now eb and ef they are the sides of same square so they are equal in length thus by angle side angle we can say that these two triangles are congruent to each other as the triangles are congruent thus corresponding sides are equal so we can say that ab length is equals to ge length ab is 6 cm so ge length is 6 cm let's assume ea is x cm now this full length is 6 so de length that will be 6 minus x now also ge that's this full length is 6 cm thus remaining length that's gd gd will be x cm also uh, as the triangles are congruent thus we can say here that gf length will be same as ae length but ae length this we have assumed as x cm so gf that will be same as x cm now let's join df here now if you look at this triangle gdf it's a right angle isosceles triangle and thus this angle here will be 45 degrees also with respect to green square ac is the diagonal so this angle here that will be 45 degrees now if you look at the line segment df and ac with respect to them ga is a transversal and these angles are corresponding angles as this corresponding angles are equal so we can say that df and ac are parallel to each other now if you look at triangle adc we know that between the same parallel lines if two triangles have got same base so we are talking about pink and blue triangle they have got the same base ac and they are between the same parallel lines so they have got same height so their areas will be equal so we can say that area of blue triangle which we had to find is same as area of this pink triangle an area of pink triangle that's half the area of green square so area of this blue triangle is nothing but half of 36 or 18 cm square and that's our answer now let's check the logical approach for the same question now for logical approach we'll exploit the fact that there is absolutely no data or limitation given related to this purple square except that its one vertex coincide with the vertex of green square and the second vertex lies on the side length of green square that means if we will keep this limitation same and we draw this blue triangle then every time the area should remain same otherwise our question itself will become invalid so to see it let's make a copy of this figure first now let's rotate this purple square slightly anti clockwise and reduce its size so that this vertex will lie on the side of green square and keep this vertex fixed now this new figure obtained it meets all the original limitations of the original figure and thus the area of this blue square should remain same how about if we rotate this purple square more so that this point 
which lies on the green side will actually overlap with this vertex here. Now believe it or not, this figure meets all the original conditions and limitations of initial figure and thus the area of this blue triangle should remain same and here we can easily make out the area of this blue triangle is half the area of square or area of blue triangle is 18 centimeter square and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.